So, I wanted to get out some information to you guys. Um, it's going to be a little bit unpolished and quick, but and I'm sorry I got a, still a little bit of a raspy voice from my cold, but um, I just wanted to do an update on Squirrel, um, Acorn, 2, 15 plus, what have you, uh, mining. So, one of the things that um, you can do in the previous video is mine with your acorn and uh, you can um, you'll have to download the drivers and um, mine tribus and then you can get typically a, if you bought it through certain dates you can get a hundred and fifty dollar coupon code or you can go buy the two fifteens if you want for about seventy dollars they're on the little riser cards but um not recommending that that's going to ROI anytime soon, but um, I just wanted to show you some uh, research that I was doing with them in case you have a box full of them floating around your your uh, office. So this is an X2 Nest, um, and as you can see, you can install you know a couple of acorns on there as a controller. Um, I assume that the reason the four is no longer the four nest card is no longer available as probably um, it may not have functioned quite as efficiently or something along those lines either way it's not available but if you look in here you can see um, these four pronged heat sinks um, these are super important this was an aftermarket one um, this is the one that comes from acorn um, you pretty much just peel off the sticky and put it on the vrm chip which is there and it will cool it down so relatively speaking you can go from only going up to about 230 mega hashes per second for ckb to you know maybe up to 300 so you know roughly a 30 percent increase um give or take so i'll get into that in a minute but what i was looking at is i have this gpu rig that used to have um, GPUs on it and it has a Celeron processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and it's a, a Biostar motherboard and a 1300 watt power supply, which is probably a little bit overkill. But the consideration I was looking at is um, grabbing these guys and putting them on riser cards and sort of trying to simulate an FPGA card that would take the place of a GPU and just kind of see what kind of performance I could get out of it. Currently, um, Squirrel does sell these cards that are kind of single cards. Um, they do create or require a PCI um, power supply and they will only plug into your main graphics um, slot there. They don't just plug into any PCI slot they'd be you know, too long for that. Uh, but then you power it from your power supply and you're good to go for a single accelerator, which is not really what I'm targeting here, but it's uh, good enough for testing. So this system without anything in it, um, onboard video and no cards, etc., it likes to bounce around about um, 28 uh, watts just sitting. I mean, it'll, it'll go up and down, but it's averaging about 28 watts. Now just sitting here uh, with a Squirrel 215 Plus CLE installed. I'm looking at, I'm sure you can see that, about, you know, still 35 watts, so maybe about a 5 watt increase. And um, when we go into the uh, software, um, we can start our mining process. And you can see it will recognize um, the miner. And <clears throat> in the README, you can um, go through this and you can select, if you have more than one, it'll say one, two, three, and so on. It also will give you your temperature for your core and your VRM chip. Um, I believe this is a, a misread, but um, we'll watch it here for a little bit. Now, it'll start out typically at 250 and um, continue off where, where you left off. Um, however, once this gets up to speed, you can hit <clears throat> A 
which is for all, and uh, hit Shift plus, and it'll actually um, expand this a little bit. Uh, you go A, Shift plus, uh, it'll increase by 5. So you can see now we're up to 260 from 255. And uh, your core, you know, you want it under 100 degrees, it seems to get into a cooking um, issue over 100 degrees. So um, we'll, we'll come back to this here in a second. So as you can see with one acorn mining, we are at uh, 43 watts. So we're probably, you know, about 10 over just sitting there with the, the computer running. Now I have um, all three, uh, one on the X2 board, and then one still down in the GPU slot down below. Um, typically you'll get them, you will need to have, or we'll make sure you get the little uh, heat sinks and, sorry, just I'm trying to make a quick video, but you'll want to put that on your VM, VRM uh, chip that's located right here. Now I'm starting all three miners. Um, pretty much have a misread on this one. VRM, I'm not sure if it's because it's in that card or not, but I'll have to take a look and see what's going on there. But as these guys come up to speed, you can hit shift plus and it'll increase you know all of your miners or acorns by five I hit plus again and there's 260 for the clock or um, you can hit like for instance I'm gonna increase two because of its temperature and then you can hit plus and it'll bring that up um, typically it'll find that it's overheating and it'll down clock but you need to watch it and make sure that they're stable i haven't done this for an extended period of time so i plan on on running it and just you know um, seeing what kind of hash rate and um, this is mining ckb and uh, i can switch over to f2 pool and uh, let you look at what it's doing there and um, the other thing is if you do want to quit uh, you need to hit the Q uh, button and it'll uh, kind of ramp things down in a, in a proper way. So we'll be right back. So as you can see, um, number three here is getting a little bit uh, warm. So um, for whatever reason, so we can press three and minus and I'll bring it back a little bit. But the other two... You know look like they could be increased a little bit so you can play around with these things and try to equalize them out um, for the efficiency but you're only going to get about 230 to 235 without a heat sink and um, you know it's not they're free and it definitely makes it uh, work a lot better so and then we'll go ahead and quit for now so we'll press uh, Q so you can see that it stops the device you have about eight seconds to close your window before it restarts. There we go. So as you can see we're averaging about 85 watts on the wall and 85 to 88 and that's with all three of these guys running and um, cumulatively I've got two at 285 and one at 275 just for temperature and we're looking at about um, 845 mega hashes per second. So what I'm showing you here is uh, the hash rate on F2 pool. Uh, this is a Black Miner F1, an F1 Mini Plus, and then another Black Miner F1. And it doesn't really show the, the acorns yet, um, but I do have four working. And um, as you can see, uh, it's getting close to. Uh, I just started, but the uh, the acorns are starting to get up there uh, to the reported 850. Uh, mega hashes per second so you know they're they're doing pretty good um if it's sustainable i'll report you know obviously another video if there's something if it catches fire or what have you um <clears throat> excuse me but if you buy a mini plus um for 200 and 
uh, thirty dollars if you can find one. You know, you're getting between you know eighteen uh, hundred to twenty three hundred mega hashes per second. Where with your Acorn, you know, you're not getting uh, nearly that. It just depends. You know, obviously if you've got some risers and some um, coupon codes, and you've got you know a few um, uh, Acorns or you know, if you can find the CLE215 pluses on eBay that still have their code bought through that certain date, you want to verify that. You know, maybe it's a fun alternative or something to do uh, with them. It's, you know, FPGA mining, but um, <laughs> it's it may not be the, the highest efficiency, but, you know, you're not using uh, that much wattage. So, like I said, this is just a, an experiment. I'm trying to bring videos that you know, haven't already been done. And um, if you like that kind of content, like and subscribe as we get started here, and uh, we'll try to keep it keep it going. Thank you.